hello there YouTube land I am back again doing a review video this is my first post expo review I'll call it because that's what it is post expo been there I've got some stuff and I want to review it for you guys that are watching this video quite simply put I went there and there was a small booth a stand called Yumpor Vapor Y-U-M-P-O-R Vapor YumporVapor.com Chinese company coming straight out of Shenzhen China um, do some really good juices as well really enjoy their juices um, you know classic tobacco fruity mixes you know all the good stuff that vapors love to vape so I went to their stand first and then I came back at the end of the day and I picked up this this is the iPlay ghost all-in-one mod um, it is an all-in-one uh, two mil tank, two mil capacity on it, TPD compliant device with dual cyclone, cyclops top airflow. Um, that's who makes it. I paid 10 quid for this mod on the day. Now, the general gist I'm going to get is I'm going to put a price tag of 15 to 20 pounds, but don't quote me on that. If you go on their website, or you go and you use your Google Food Powers and you will find a distributor for us where you can get this from. I have not seen this as a device on Fast Tech. It's not on there, but the like I said, they're a new company. I've never I'd never heard of them before. So, you know, I picked up the mod and I said I'd do a review for video for them and I've had this for a week and I am absolutely loving it. It comes with two drip tips. This is a plastic one and it comes with a squidgy rubber drip tip as well it comes with two coil options a 1.2 ohm and a 0.6 ohm coil head so you get two in it it comes with a micro usb your instruction manual as well it vapes at three levels three power levels when it's green you see that that's at 40 watts. That is its maximum output on the 0.6 ohm coil, but it will read down to 0.3 in terms of resistance. But what it's on now is 40 watts on the 0.6. That's its highest output. Click it again, it turns red. That's 20 watts, that's its lowest output. And it flashes blue. See that? Uh, blue for in middle output, and that's 30 watts now. 40 watts, I thought, for an all in one device was quite a lot. As soon as I was vaping it, I literally just after I got it, I was vaping on the way, and I was thinking, this thing is putting out some vapor for its size. What it is, it is a very good starter kit, a very good mouth to lung kit as well on it. I mean, I will turn this down now. To what I, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a hole, that's what it's on now. And it gives a good mouth to lung, even a tight draw, a tight draw for a mouth to lung. So that's great if you're a beginner vapor. And of course, you can vape mouth to lung on 40 watts on an all in one. So that, that's a thumbs up on that one. And of course, this is what's like wide open. So absolutely zero complaints about the um, amount of vapor, vapor production. The flavor is cracking off it as well. I've got to really admit the way this top airflow is mixing with the with the vapor as you're inhaling, it has given me nothing good but, but great flavor from you know all of my juices that I've ran through, and I've ran quite a few tanks full, tank fulls at least ten, maybe fifteen tank fulls of juice through it, and it's still working superbly well on each. Each note of each juice is noticeable, and I've run different juices through it, so taste wise, it's absolutely spot on. It's got nice big juice windows on it, with a V on the front of it, and down the sides as well, so you can see where your juice is. Obviously, you've got a max fill line as well, so you know when you're 
you're up to your two mils of your capacity so you don't get any of the crap you all your juice leaking out the top and going all over your hands it is not a pass-through device now bear in mind how cheap these are well well i won't say cheap because it doesn't feel cheap i mean it is plastic i'd say that's a I don't know, plastic, but it's very well made though. So, I mean, when you tin it, that's plastic, that is not aluminium. And by the way, it only weighs 70 grams. So, it is very light, but not lightweight though. I mean, it kicks out a fair amount of vapor for its size. Um, it is not pass through, no. Um, Judging by how cheap they are, what I would do is if you're going to buy one, I'll buy two. So you can bait one and charge one because it's a non pass through device. It is a 1500 milliamp hour battery capacity as well. 70 grams an hour. I vaped on this and it has lasted me a day quite happily, even on its 440 watts, which is really surprising considering the, the quite biggish clouds this thing will blow. Um, and it's ideal for tricking as well. As you can see, it's ideal for doing that. I mean, you can and you can time out on it as well. I mean, you, if you're taking massive lung hits, you can hit the full 10 second cut off on it quite easily. So, you know, what I'll say is that hopefully more UK and American stockists or, yeah, stockists, uh, importers will get this mod in because it has, as an alternative to some of the all in ones that are out there, like the Ego all in one the smock uh 22 and a few others this is a really great alternative um i have no complaints from it whatsoever 1500 milliamp hour bearing in mind it will charge in just under an hour and a half so not never really without it every juice i've had in it has worked perfectly no complaints about the flavors, no complaints about the power, no complaints about the battery life. Uh, absolutely perfect. I mean, as an all-in-one, it is really, really fantastic. It gets a 10 out of 10 from me because I find it absolutely faultless. And of course, nearly forgot, there is a battery vent hole on the bottom as well for safety. Um, you can't short it out. Um, coil compatibility wise I'm not sure whether the Ego AIO coils are compatible with it I'm not sure because I've not got any but you know 1.2 ohm 0.6 ohm and it will read down to 0.3 but I haven't got any 0.3 coils and I'm not sure whether Yumpor Vapor make 0.3 ohm coils because there isn't actually any coils on their website for this device that's how new it is um, but as an alternative to an, any other all-in-one devices or a step-up device from the Ego, it is perfect. So yeah, that's my first post Vapor Expo video. Um, hope you really enjoy this. Click subscribe, like, share, do what you want to with it. But that is the Yumpor iPlay Ghost all-in-one vaping mod hope you enjoy this video and goodbye